Hi guys, I'm Scribble of Lords. Welcome back to another video. This will, video will be showing you how to make your own boss fight for whatever you are going to need one. As for instance, a story game. So, this video will only be making a boss. So, I have already pre-made a boss. Actually, I haven't actually made him trying to make a boss. I've actually only tried, to, I have just had this idea and I made something. So this is basically my boss and I'm going to today show you how to transform your boss that you have modeled into a usable boss. So you first want to actually get your boss and then we've got quite a lot of welds and we probably want to rather much delete them. So we're going to go to the command bar. The easiest way to do so is by typing in the command bar for i comma v in pairs word space get descendants it should look about like this do space space and and then between these two spaces we are writing if v colon is a weld then space space and and between those two spaces we are writing v column destroy brackets and then we're just typing enter and let's see if we can somewhere find a single weld no we cannot this is how we were in no time getting rid of all of the welds in here <coughs> second of all we want to make him animatable and so maybe he, even he can hold tools and to make this under plugins you should have this plugin called build rig and in there are rigs that anyways work i am wanting to make my robot a r6 so i'm going to go on build rig r6 block rig we want to take a block rig <coughs> And basically, in the end, we're going to make everything transparent in this block rig. We're only using the block rig to for it already working for what we want to do. Now we want to just resize our boss to the size of our block rig. So basically, that about things like this are right. I'm just gonna quickly do that. So first, try to do something with 0.5 so that. Basically, the neck is where the neck is at the block rig. And we just want to position this kind of, at least in front, kind of. So, um, 0.25. Okay, this looks good. Let's just go to our boss and press Alt on our keyboard. And then we're able to select those parts that we want to group. And we'll just make some quick groupings for each of our body parts. So, that, so like the head... In my case, it's R6, so, I ha so I'm only taking R6 body parts. Uh, the head will be kind of hard. I'll do the him in the end, because then he'll be easier. And now we basically have kind of more organized than this. Now let's just actually move him there where we want him to be. Actually, I've as well got a free model, not for, I did not make this. It is, one on, where is this? I'm just quickly searching for it. I've got so many free models, I'm, I should probably get rid of some stuff. Uh, here, weld o -matic. And I'm just gonna put this weld o into my first model. I'm gonna duplicate it, put it into the second model. And I I'm just gonna do this until I have one in, in each. Because I want to only weld the parts in the model to each other. What we are going to do is we are gonna grab us the dummy after we have put all those scripts in there. We're gonna press edit rig. And now we want to basically uh, open up the dummy and I'm gonna start with the head. So I'm gonna select uh, the part in that's the head, open that up and find basically a part that's basically a main part. 
so that because I'm gonna weld that part then to the head of my actual dummy yeah this is it and this I'm going to then scroll up to the head with control I'm going to select both and then I'm gonna press on create weld now this cannot fall apart even if we, it gets unanchored well the hand will fall apart but for, but or well the matic script is taking care of that now okay now we're done now we can just close our plugin and <coughs> it, he should still be a oops anchor him you do not want him not to be anchored and actually let's just quickly select all of these parts in him and just make them transparency one like this he is basically what he was the whole time along but he is rigged now let's run the game and see if it works so let's just wait a little while actually i'm just trying to quickly See, yes, now now he is welded, but he is not everything welded to each other. And he is unanchored. Now, to keep these t changes, we just have to copy him with Ctrl-C. Then we can stop the game and press Ctrl-V to paste him. Now we can delete the old one because the old one was kind of garbage because it wasn't welded. And now, see, we have a weld everywhere where we want to now and unanchor this see now we, we can animate him and because we do not really need to make a walk animation yeah we can just close off the animation editor and we can delete this anim stages now to actually make him normally animate what we want to do do is publish it you probably have already published it but i'm just gonna call it call it boss fight tutorial and i'm just gonna this, this doesn't matter what your settings are in my case but you can have them as whatever you want but here in game settings we have to go to avatar i'm yeah and then enable what the what's it doing why okay who cares we're gonna press on r6 and save and then we are gonna play test the game and as you see we are now in the game yeah in the explorer open and then open him up and click on this animate script it should be called this it's a local script and now copy that script and stop the game and now just paste it and now you have to do a little bit of editing on him so First of all, actually, let's just first put him into the dummy. And now, what we want to do is we want to add a script into the dummy. A normal script. And just delete everything. And now, what you want to do is open up the anime script. Select everything with Control A. Copy it. And paste it into your other script. And now take all of these values and add them into your script. Delete the other script, so the local script, and name your not local script animate. Basically, now you've just made so it's not a client added script. Let's just go to line 510 because he won't be chatting. Okay, let's just uh, delete these few lines. Okay. That will just get rid of this error because he will not do, be doing any chatting. No. And now we've basically set up our character for our boss because he is basically now animatable and can walk around as if he is a player. Okay, so this has have been the first part of the series on how to make a boss fight on Roblox Studio. I hope you have enjoyed and continue in the next part. Bye!
If you'd like this video, then please just give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, then just click the thumbnail that should be on your screen now. And if you as well want to support my work at no extra cost, then just click on the thumbnail that should be right now in the middle of your screen.